pillar one, the 16 indust regional industrial revolution. Well, as we already know, there are 15 dormant regions and one region that is choked. But we're about to revive the 15 and bridge it with the one. I'd like to start with a video. So we can play the first video, which is the 16th Industrial Revolution. Just, just let me know when. All right. So that was the first video of the Industrial Revolution. This has started the 16 Industrial regional industrial revolution it's supposed to bring back the 15 dormant regions that we have left for so long and we haven't done anything but tonight i would like to unveil all the potential minerals arable land and all that we have discovered through the research within the 15 regions to Ghanaians. now as you are seeing we start by making sure we invest in all these 16 regions. That is industrial plant to be able to refine all our minerals. And then the processing plant to be able to process all our agro plants. So I would be able to take my time and take you through. Our research on attribution reserves shows that gold iron ore, gas, bauxite, and lithium and diamond. It's the potential of agro-processing and all the arable lands in the country amounts to 2.5 trillion US dollars. This is the outcome of our research. We are determined to bring out every region's wealth. So as you can see, I mean, we have search every region inside out and realize what sort of wealth that can be created there and projected it in the next 10 years Ghana will have an economic output at 4.7 trillion with the 13 million hectares of arable land and all these minerals we will also create 8 million jobs in a decade now let me look at some of the places I've already showed you Volta region maybe we should look at Ashanti region can we play the video for Ashanti region <laughs>
we could see another region. So as you already seen, Ashanti is 240 billion worth of gold, minerals, lithium, and arable spaces for us to create the biggest potential of farming. Agro-processing. We want to become exporters, not importers. I mean, let's look at Western region. Let's look at Western region. I think Western region is by far the richest region, if not in Ghana, on the continent. So you just saw Western region. It's one of my favorite regions. I believe that this region is going to become the Texas of Africa. This is where we are going to have the most industrial plants with the most minerals, the most agro uh, products to be processed and is right next to the coast. We can supply Africa and even supply the world. We have to take the Western region very serious. 420 something billion it's something for us to take very serious because one is going to create all the jobs in the western side and even bring people from other parts of Ghana we are going into wealth creation and I want to do this with you Ghana as you can see wealth creation comes with job creation but we produce 200,000 barrels of oil per day in Ghana we sell this and then in fact, we let people extract it, go and refine it, then we go back to Europe and buy this same product premium and sell our fuel at 15 point something cities per liter. All we have to do is build our refineries and we will have competitive prices and we will save the losses in the economy, the inflation in the economy just because of industrialization. As we can see also, just our oil can also produce us all the petrochemicals. We don't need to import products. We need to export products. The more we import products, the more we drive our economy out of this country. The more we export products, the more we take in other people's economy into our country. And the more we would export, it means we have created jobs. You know, this is going to make Ghana become the powerhouse of Africa okay we cannot do a Greek without the culture now you can see that we have a lot of farmers in Ghana but we don't have the processing plants to process the farming products so we do that Greek but we don't do the culture the culture is the seven times of processing one product like cocoa it can be chocolate it can be cocoa butter cream it can be a shampoo it can be so many things and there is the brown fields to create other things from this one product and create more jobs as you can already see 800,000 jobs per year within this 16 regions that makes it at least 50,000 people getting a job in a region I mean, I'm being conservative with the 8 million jobs in 10 years. But, to be honest with you, a machine, a plant, is the only thing that can give you jobs in three different shifts. Eight hours times three a day. That is what I call 24-hour economy. You need industrialization. Who sells Gary for 24 hours in Makola? The women in Kejetia and Kantamanto cannot work for 24 hours. It would take a factory. It would take a plant, a production line to give three shifts a day. 
no industrialization, no 24-hour economy. I have brought you your economic of freedom. With all this potential, how do we connect our regions and transport the supplies on the industrial scale? That takes you to pillar two. We've just finished with pillar one. I can hear you. 